Hello, my name is Jumpin' Mystic and welcome back to Slay the Spire. It's an unusual time for me to be posting Slay the Spire Ascension, isn't it? The new... Well, let me first say, Ironclad Ascension level 7. Normal enemies are tougher. Let's begin. So, the new schedule is out. It's in the channel description. I'm gonna repeat channel description. It's not in the video description. It's in the channel description. Probably gonna go for the common relic. Bag of marbles, okay, that's that's really good relic. So the schedule, if you're too lazy or you don't really want to go to my channel and go to the description. Schedule for Ascension runs. Wow, there's four elites on a single path, right? I might actually go there. Let's see. He who dares wins, right? Yeah. Oh, that's a bunch of damage, which I can do. Not gonna. What was I saying? So the schedule for Ascension runs on Slay the Spire is as goes. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So it was changed to these. The uh, third running series, which is yet to be declared, is gonna be only Tuesday and Thursday. And No Man's Sky is gonna be basically the same thing, which is the second running series. Gonna pick up a cleave here. Yeah, that's it. That really is it. That's the only- oh yeah, uh, Saturday there's gonna be no more daily though. That's it. Nothing else has really changed that much. Yeah, this doesn't kill which I have an issue with. Probably shouldn't be going for all at this point, I took way too much damage early. Uppercut is not bad. Honestly, but it needs to be upgraded. And I'm not gonna have the opportunity to upgrade it. I can go here and go for uh, three or two elites, isn't it? One? Yeah, two elites instead of the four, which I was planning on doing. I have no idea how I was planning on doing them, but I was planning on doing them. I can kill one of them. Saves me a bit of damage. So I will get some healing out of this at least. Swift Potion. No. Okay, here I can actually card remove. There is a membership card in the flex here. I'm gonna card remove first, that should be my priority. I do want to flex, but at the same time, it's a common card. Oh, really? You're attacking for 14, really? I'm just gonna defend as much as I can. Again. Two defense. Of course I didn't get... Mm. I mean, that... I shouldn't have even attacked there. I just shouldn't have. Okay. Steroid potion, there's an offering. I mean, I'm on really low HP, but sure, let's go. I can't set up a bash. I can offering though. I guess I will be. Oh, that's gonna be a lot of wasted energy, so I might end up using the swift potion. Yep, let's do it. For an extra strike, I should have used the steroid potion there as well. It was gonna be a bunch of damage. And double defend. Okay, bash on a single defend. Probably shouldn't have even defended there. Should have just went for strikes. Come on. Okay, good. I'm going for two strikes and a cleave there because I can't take 15 damage. And I need to kill soon. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay, not dead. Immolate is good AoE. It does add a burn, but it's good AoE. It upgrades to 28? Yeah, 28. Hmm. I'm gonna do it. I think we need the boost in damage. And I can't upgrade here, I need to actually rest. Ugh. I've already rested. This is already gonna be a really hard challenge, a really hard run, so... I am either gonna beat these four elites or I'm gonna die trying. Yeah. 
out of all the AoE cards I have, I got neither. I got two AoE cards in there at the bottom of the deck. I mean, one the, the back one is definitely dead next turn, so at least that's good. I should cleave. I mean, I'm already taking damage here. I can mitigate it a little bit. Then I'm gonna have a bash next turn, probably. Sure, I'm gonna mitigate fire damage. The thing with emulate is, yeah, it does a lot of damage, but it also means you're adding a burn to your deck. It's a good AoE, don't get me wrong, it's great AoE. This one's just dead. It's great AoE, just... Mm. The burns. Okay, I actually did that with minimal damage taken. It's too late to start a Rampage deck. So bottle lightning and offering. Because why not? Blue candle, okay. I can pick up some curses, I guess. Okay, let's face this late. Okay, it's a knob. So this is the best turn I can use offering on. Okay. Actually, not a bad offering. And we got four defense out. That means next turn I have, yep, four attacks. One of which is Emoid. Hopefully next turn he's dead. There is a possibility. If I draw four defense on a single attack, though, I'm not gonna kill it. It's dead. Okay, strength. Uh, second offering is too much. Definitely too much. Free fire breathing. I mean, why would I take that? I could take Rupture, I guess. I mean, it's upgraded. I, I have Frozen Egg. Of course, it's upgraded. I could take Rupture and... No. And do something weird, whatever. That's not happening. Ooh. I do want a card remove. At the same time, I might not- Oh, come on, get me a Malate. You get me Cleave, which is still nice. I don't have to Offering, so I'm actually gonna... Mm, save 5 HP, you know, gain 5 HP. I forgot about the last one. It happens. Shrug it off, definitely. Here I can actually lift, 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 not upgrade, lift. Oh. Getting an extra point of strength. It's really good. Let's see if we can actually beat this. Oh boy, it's like a bullet. Probably the worst one for me to fight, honestly. So bash, immolate, cleave. Should've used the steroid push, that was gonna be 15 extra damage. Actually a little bit more because of the vulnerability. Am I taking 20 here? Yeah. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take the 20 and hope that I can actually kill next turn. Yeah, I can. Good. Toxic Egg, Speed Potion, and... Not gonna take a Clash because I have an Emulate. If I didn't have an Emulate, I might have taken a Clash. Oh, uh, if I don't rest here, but the thing is I need to lift. Too many rests. This is not going well. If you're resting as much as I am, generally the run is not going very well. I should have stricken first. Oh, well, I did nothing there, basically. Okay, so we do have the makings of a strength generation deck. It's not much, but it is something. Now I just need a limit break and hope that I actually survive long enough to upgrade the limit break. I will do the 22, I'm obviously taking damage here. Obviously. Bash striking is gonna do nothing. Defending will actually fully defend me. Eh, mostly. I forgot about the burn. Mm, we might die to the Guardian here and have to restart. We had the makings of a really good run. Yeah. Oh! I'm taking damage here. Yeah. Okay, I'm not taking any damage here at least. Uh, okay, I'm dead. There's absolutely nothing I can do here. We added too many burns. I was hoping to kill fast enough, but... I knew that wasn't happening. 
If I hadn't rested as much as I did, possibly. The extra strength, the extra point of strength, and possibly one extra upgraded card. Yeah, would have been worth it. Anyway, let's redo. It's only 10 minutes in, there's time to redo. Upgrade a card, lose all gold for a random rare relic. Ooh, yeah. Okay, we know what we're doing. First rest, second rest, third rest, elite. Shop, rest. Yeah, that's the way we're going. That's what we're doing. We want to get as many rests as possible. We want to guarantee our rests. I can't kill any one of them. Uh, the thing is, though, I can't really defend against their attacks. This one has the most blocks, so... First one that's getting hit. Really? Well, might as well kill one. I've already taken too much damage here. Should have been healing off of this. No, I'm not. Thunderclap, Twin Strike. We'll pick up a Twin Strike. It's a good combo card. Remove a card for 7 HP, sure. I'm picking up Geria, but I don't want the strikes. I don't want the defense either, but... I'm gonna lose a Tingled. It's not worth the HP at this point. Probably should have just double struck in this one and Twin Strike the back one. Yeah, I just lost some damage there. Really? I'm gonna double defend here. Let's try and not take damage this fight. Not possible. Eh, possible. Flex. Actually, do I need a flex? Yeah, it is a boost in damage. It's a big boost in damage. Oh, the jawworm. <sighs> it's gonna be an aggressive deck, and the higher the ascensions go, the less... I like a strength-based deck, an aggressive deck, the more I start leaning towards a defensive deck. That's just me, by the way. Yeah, this is not gonna kill. If he was vulnerable, yeah, but it's not, so... It's just, higher level ascensions do favor defensive decks. At least, that's my experience. True Grid, for example, is a really good card for a defensive deck, and we are gonna pick it up. Even though I'm going for a strength-based deck. Because True Grit is still a bunch of defense, and you should not undervalue True Grit. Please don't, please just give me the item. Okay, let's leave. And that's Dublo Doll. So I might actually choose to... Actually, no, I don't need the strength from Dublo Doll. I really don't. Pen Nib, okay. It's because I already have three strength, now I just need a single limit break and that's it. I don't need any more strength generation cards. You just need to set up some strength and then have a pendant. Oh boy. Can I kill any of you? That's gonna be 11, that's gonna be... Yeah, I can kill one of you. Of course I'm thinking of the fire potion, but it's definitely getting used. I'm not taking this much damage. That's 30, so... As I said, a single limit break and we're gonna be fine. Not picking up any of these. We don't, oh, we don't have AoE cards, right? I haven't picked up any AoE yet. I should double defend, and I guess I'm single twin striking. Normally you should target the one with the least amount of HP because you're more likely to kill that one, but I, t I keep targeting the back one because I just prefer targeting the back one. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm actually gonna trigger it here. Take as little HP damage as possible. I didn't want the flex to get hit, that's why I used it. I should probably kill the backline and take this 10. Not take the dazes. What's next? It's a chop, then it's a rest. But I don't want to rest, I want to upgrade. Ah, oh, the pet nib. Could be useful, you never know. Oh yeah, it's gonna be. It's one short, but... Mm. One short. Just a single point of damage. That's... Ugh. Really annoying. I actually can't True Grit if I use the Bash, so... True Grit. Would rather save the HP. Might end up backfiring, but... Mm. 
Actually, could have double defended, struck on the mid sentry, not waste the damage. Yep, probably should have done that. Could have killed that. Now I'm taking 10. So I do know better, I just tend to ignore my own advice. So don't ignore my advice. I know better, I just ignore it myself. Lift <laughs> <laughs> potion havoc? No. I did want to go towards this shop because I can card remove. Oh my god, I'm so sure. I would have bought it. I definitely would have bought it. Shockwave is better than Bash, by the way, because we're probably going to kill in 5 turns as soon as Shockwave is upgraded. And it's AoE. So card removal strike, we have somewhat of enough attacks. Oh no, was hoping for this not to be a fight, really. And this is not lethal. I have a problem with- oh wait, I have an extra- Lantern! I was wondering why I have an extra point of strength there. I might pick up a second twin strike. No. No. So what I'm actually going to do here is I'm actually not going to upgrade the uh, flex or the bash. I'm actually going to upgrade the true grit because the true grit is going to allow me to thin down my deck the way I choose to, not just randomly. Okay, good. Bash on the first turn. And there's a pen nib. I might actually save the pen nib for a twin. No, not going to save it. Just keep dealing out damage. Okay, so there's a flex and there's a twin strike. But that will mean transforming. So I will use the swift potion to draw an extra point of... Oh. This means I can't true grit though. I still should, it's more damage than a strike. And I don't have any AoE so I want to do as much damage as possible. So 40 it's doable. Mm, I'm on really low HP there, so I need to be really careful here. Okay, that's a little bit better. On 4 HP I can just kill him with a single strike, so... As long as I keep getting a single strike. Yeah, I'm definitely gotta kill him. Uh, I'm definitely gotta kill him. English. Yeah. English. It's, it's not there. Okay. So, defend, defend, and I will true get a strike out. Hopefully it won't attack me next turn. Oh, it's double sliming my... Okay, we have a pen nub next turn. I have a twin strike as well, so... Good. Reaper, we do have a strength belt. Reaper goes in it. Lizard tail, busted crown. I need limit break and busted crown means that... Limit bake might never show up, but I do need the extra energy. Might actually take the lizard tail and be safe. Hmm. If you're wondering why I took the true grip and uh, the true grip and I'm still planning on going aggressive, it's because I can thin down my deck without actually having to remove too many cards. Because I'm this deck is not like a burst damage deck at this point. It will be eventually, but it's not currently. With a single limit break, it turns into, well, a bigger damage dealer. So we want one elite, two. There is a possibility of two elites here. We'll have to see how it goes. But yeah, two rests between the elites. And I can choose where I want to go. No shops along the way, but it's still a good way. So let's go. No AoE. I still don't have an AoE card, so that's a tough one. I do have an extra point of energy, so I'm actually going to focus down this one because he has the most HP and is buffing. So I'm willing to take one damage, basically. Just to prevent the buffing. Well, I can bring one down, but which one? This one does less damage than this one. To me, currently. Hmm. This is not turning out very well. I needed that extra point of energy. I think I should have taken the busted crown. Good news is Reaper will sort of heal me. Uh, basically Reaper will sustain me a little bit here and there, but 
It costs two energy to play, so... I need to bring this one down. Without the AoE, these are hard. This is a hard fight without AoE. And we have none. We haven't been offered AoE cards, basically. Bash Striking can kill one of them. I probably should suspend them. This is just kill one of these two. <sighs> okay, this one will rise, but I can kill him. I have a twin strike in the next hand, so. Yep, dead. Hmm, no, I don't need any of these. So, I actually wanted to go this way because it has more uh, question marks. Like this, though. Actually, was it that way? I mean... Reaper is unblocked damage. To unblock damage, yeah. So I'm not using it this turn. I think that means I'm getting hit. Probably not using Reaper here at all, actually. And true good, a defend out. Am I planning on using Reaper? Reaper's gonna be 9. Yeah, it's the most defense actually. Is it? No, it's not. Oh, it's Pendeb though, so it, is, it will heal me for a little bit. I'm, take, I'm gonna take 12, but I'm gonna heal for 18, so... Eh, sorta good. I really do want a Bash Twin Strike. It's not enough to kill though. If I had a Flex, it might be. Yeah, it wasn't gonna be. So I'm actually gonna remove the bash, it's not gonna be needed anymore. <clears throat> Taking way too much damage. Pure Potion. I will not take a Wild Strike even though I have a True Grit. Oh no wait, I wanted to go... Yeah, I wanted to go here. Didn't I? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Oh, bad fight for me. Like, really bad. I mean, I can bash Reaper, but... Mm, what's that gonna accomplish? Eh, yeah, sure, let's, why not? Probably should have used the Pure Potion of the Chosen as well. Okay, we just took a bunch of damage. And we're about to be, what was it called? Confused? Yeah, confused. Hexed. It's not confused. It's the Sneko that does the confusion. Do I have a Twin Strike anytime soon? Mm, I'm not gonna wait for it. Can't risk it showing up way too late. It did show up, but still. Can't kill it this turn regardless of what I do, so we'll defend once. Remove the days. And add another one. That shouldn't have done anything there. Flex isn't still upgraded, which is not good for me. I will take a battle trance. It can be useful. Apparitions could actually sustain me for long enough. And at this point I might be willing to take the apparitions. <sighs> they cost an energy to play though, and upgrading them just removes the ethereal. It doesn't remove the energy cost, and I don't have the energy to play them. That's the issue I have. Oh boy. The issue I have here is that I haven't gotten my limit break yet. If I had gotten the limit break, this would be a way different fight. So. Reaper here is a bunch of damage, but that means I'm not really defending. But I probably shouldn't defend here as well. Anyway, I'm actually gonna do this. And Reaper. Oh, unblocked, of course. And remove a strike. No, remove a defense, sorry. 
This is the most defense I could have gotten anyway. A single defense is 3 block when I'm frail. Okay. Still frail, like. Should have checked the pen now. I still can't kill though. I will remove a strike at this point and defend. Come on, give me twin strike again. Okay. It might. Yeah, it did. Okay. With the pen nib, it's enough to kill. And bash the back one. Still keep bashing. Don't need to battle trance anymore, so long as I can play a couple of cards and I'm not getting hit. Heavy Blade. Yeah, and it's the last attack card I'm picking up. Oof. I need to upgrade that, flex, and a couple of defense, but... I might actually skip... I was planning on going to this late, wasn't I? No, I wasn't. I was planning on going to one elite. No, wait, I was planning on going to this late and possibly an extra elite, but I guess I'm gonna go towards this late. There is a possibility that in these question marks I might run into a really bad enemy. But I will take a risk and I will actually upgrade the Heavy Blade. Because that's an extra 15 damage on it. Not an extra 15 damage, it's an extra 6 damage on it. When I put it like that. I would rather upgrade the flex. When I put it like that. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna remove a card and upgrade a card for 90 gold. I think it's worth it. I've actually added a lot of attack cards, so the strikes I don't need anymore. And it upgraded twin strike, okay. That's good. Was I supposed to go dead rest? Rest? Yeah, I was. So, heavy blade. Then it's probably defense. I need to upgrade those defense. And I'm going towards the shop. I wasn't gonna go towards the shop initially, but I skipped the elite I was planning on going for. I'm gonna play it safer. What's the boss fight? Okay. Not the best boss fight for us. It could have been worse though. I will card remove here. Thin down the deck a little bit more, and I will actually pick up a dex potion for the boss fight. This is the enemy I was worried of about I didn't want to mention it I could Reaper now I mean this is gonna be the best I'm gonna do at Reaper but killing the enemy as quickly as possible is preferable where I could attempt a healing and heavy blade next turn heavy blade with vulnerability is gonna do 30, 45, so it's not enough to kill. Heavy Blade on Strike, though. We'll see. No, it's not gonna be enough, I think. Oh, it's 32. Ah, I'm weakened! Oh, I forgot I forgot to factor in the weakness. That's really bad. I will not be Heavy Blading. I will be Speed Potion here. I want to defend. And remove the Strike. Good thing we fully defended. Oh, no. And I'm still weakened, which is the issue I have with this. Double flex, okay. 26, so this will actually do a bunch of damage. Enough to kill, yeah. No! One short, really? Oh my, it's because of the block. No, oh my god. That was really bad. There's my AoE, finally. I gotta go towards this rest. I don't want to skip it, even if it means resting there. Okay, this is not a good fight for me. But I did get whirlwind early on and it's a pen nib. 4 energy, that's 90 damage? 120, so it's enough to kill. Good. Yeah, 4 by 3 is 120. But I'm really worried at this point. I don't know what the enemy here is, so I'm just gonna rest. Do the safer thing. Normally you shouldn't- oh boy. Okay. Whirlwind is more damage than... Uh, no, it's not. What am I talking about? Twin Strike hits twice. 
I do want to defend though, and I have to triple defend if I want to do anything. Not sure, but book of stabbing. It's gonna be hard. Uh, I do need a bash, I do need to have a blade. A swifty damage without a bash. And remove a like, I guess. There's no point in playing the Dex Potion because at this point I'm j probably just going to be playing for one single defend. I should have played the Bash, shouldn't I? Should have, should have, should have. At this point I'm actually going to play the Bash. Now we'll defend for five. Bleeding out, badly. Yeah, should have played the Dex Potion a lot earlier. At this point I'm not going to play it because I either win or lose without it. Okay, we win for now. Second Twin Strike is too much. Still no Limit Break and I have to rest here. I wanted to upgrade but I have to rest. Reaper can potentially fully heal me here depending on when I get my thingy. I do want to remove the Bronze Automaton's Artifacting but not sure if that's ever going to happen. We'll just preemptively drink the next potion. Do I waste damage trying to remove artifacting or do I just straight up go for damage? Yeah, I just straight up go for damage. Oh, that was... No, that's not a Pendeb. Now we have Pendeb active. And we have a Reaper Flex next hand, so this means I can actually fully heal. Which is really good. That was a full heal. I didn't think of this until we actually entered the fight. Otherwise I wouldn't have actually healed. But even then I might have considered healing to be on the safe side. I will not be thinning down the deck yet. Because this is going to be a long-ish fight. And I wanted to hurry there with the Reaper because, uh, let's face it, this fight is not going to get easier. This is 20 damage, this is 30. 29 to be a bit more precise, but I need to start killing these. I chose the target with the most HP because I'm in all likelihood going to die. Because I do have some AoE at least now in the deck. This is what I mean by the game favors more defensive decks. The later in Ascension you go. Oh, we're dead. I can battle trans. Sure, I can flex, but... There's my whirlwind. Oh, I, I was wondering why I wasn't seeing it. Yep, just straight up dead. I do have a lizard tail, so... I guess probably I should have struck him there, but... At this point I will start removing- no I won't, just start dealing damage. Probably should have started removing it. I don't know, I'm like... I'm torn about that. This is uh, 32 damage. Which I don't want to take, honestly. But this is the best defense I can muster. Oh no, yeah I'm dead. I can't pen nib but I need another attack. And pen nib heavy blade is... Possibly a kill? Mm, yeah it is, okay. Okay, Ooh, there's the limit break. There was a double tap as well but the limit break is insane. You can no longer smith at rest site. I actually need to upgrade the limit break. And a bunch of defense. Notice our deck. Our deck is very aggressive and almost no defense. And the defense we do have are not upgraded. Philostone will kill me. Runic Dome will probably kill me. Why I'm considering Runic Dome killing me? Because it's that new monster thing. Um, what do you call it? Uh, malleable thing, I don't know. The thing that puts a curse in your deck. I forgot what it's called. The thing is that Philosopher's Stone has ended many runs before. I mean, true, it give, 
It gives the enemy only one strength now, but I need the extra energy, so I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna prioritize rests here. It's not a late one, two rests. Three re oh no, that puts me inbound for that late now. So I need to actually go on this side. Either that or like this. Yeah, one. I need one elite, no more than one elite. Yeah, I could go for this one. But that means no shop. I could go for here for a shop. Yeah, that's a good plan. Let's go. Hmm. Can bash. Heavy Blade. Now we'll actually be removing the Whirlwind because I might end up using the Reaper for a little bit of healing. Not much, but it is a little bit. That extra point of energy is really helpful most of the time. Okay, the enemy's gonna die to my Twin Strike or my Heavy... Oh no, I needed... I wanted Reaper, really. Not needed, wanted, because I wanted to heal. We'll take a Thunderclap? Bloodletting is actually, actually has a use in this deck, but not yet. Single Thunderclap, reinforce my AoE a little bit. Oh, that's not good. Not with a Spiker here. Please don't kill me. Yeah, this hits multiple times, I forgot. I Honestly, I thought it was gonna hit only once. If I had taken Bloodletting, I would have taken Uppercut immediately, but I haven't. Because Uppercut is a defensive and aggressive card. This is the enemy I was talking about. By the way. This enemy. I will just straight up defend against him for now, and I actually don't want Whirlwind here. Because it hits multiple times and I don't know what it'll actually do to this enemy. I don't want the curse in the deck. Or do I? I didn't take Darkstone Prey after. If I did, I would have wanted it. I think I played Limit Break before I actually played the Flex, which is a bad idea. Or did I play it last turn? I don't remember. Alright, so Thundercrap. Clap, sorry. Clap. I misspoke. Okay. We'll slightly heal here. Ooh, boy, use a Twin Strike immediately. Really? I hate this enemy. This is the only enemy after the Snake Plank that I hate. How could you make this enemy into a thing? You either need to one-shot it or somehow poison it with a Silent or whatever. Ugh, so annoying. She took more damage there than I healed and I was planning on a healing there. Rage is really good here, so is Whetstone. Whetstone is gonna upgrade... Nothing. A Thunderclap and a Strike and a ba or a Bash. I don't really need him upgraded. Medical Kit I don't need because this boss does not put any... Uh, any, you know, any dazes in my deck. I really did want to pick up Preserved Insect, but... Hmm. I could use a Bash upgraded, I guess. But that's it. If it doesn't actually hit... Actually, it will hit the Bash. Oh no, there was a Reaper there! Mm, I forgot about the Reaper. So I can actually go here instead of here. And then we're just gonna continue over this way. Okay. Okay. I mean, this won't heal me for much, but... It's better than nothing. And there are three enemies on the field, so... Come on, Thunderclap or the Wind. You know, this is fine as well. This is gonna do 45-ish. Minus 3. So 42, it's not gonna kill any of them, is there? Is there? Wait a minute. Why did I think that the other ones were gonna be left up to 1 and this one at 3? I messed calculation somewhere. That's why you don't trust quick maths. Yeah. It's giving me power potions because it knows that I'm, because the game knows that I'm going against the awakened one. Okay, a limit break. Yep. 
Okay, yeah, limit break is now smith up, so eventually we will just one-shot everything. But that's eventually. We actually need to survive until then. Speaking of which... I can't actually fully heal off the transient as soon as I play a couple, uh, play a thing a couple times, limit break. So I'm actually not gonna play Reaper yet. I just need to get to limit break like twice. I guess I will take the 9. I knew I was gonna take some damage, not too much, but some. Yeah, just Heavy Blade. I will actually save this because if I Reaper here with Pen Nib and this much strength, I will fully heal. Come on, give me a limit break. Guess not. Should have probably applied Thunderclap as well, but I got greedy on the healing there. Okay, we're good. We're fully healed. I'm loving this for now. Okay, we're starting to get out of control because of the limit break. I might actually choose to pick up an Intimidate at this point. I have not upgraded any defense and Intimidate is a way to defend me. And I might actually go for the Sling. There can be really bad elites here. Nah, I'm gonna skip it. There can be really bad elites here. The one I'm thinking of is... I was gonna play Limit Break there before for Wind. Okay, so I don't actually want to play Wind now because of these enemies. L3 shot him, so that means I will take some damage. You know, I just kill some of them, I guess. Leaves one of them alive, which is the issue. I guess I do have a Reaper, which will heal me for six. Didn't take four in the process because I forgot. Upgraded Rage definitely has a place in this deck. We're thickening up the deck at this point, which is bad. Courier, sure, I don't need the Sapphire Key. I mean, I could have taken it one here. But this deck is not meant to take out the the heart, honestly. I, I still don't have a plan for the Ironclad and the heart. I can go for a store than this one, but I don't have any gold anymore. So. This is the enemy I was thinking of. When I said some fights are going to be really hard for us. Yeah, I have a pen nib next turn, but... I just need to remind myself not to attack next turn. Just defend. Oh boy! Like, good turn to get Intimidate on. And use the block push. Yeah, I'm saving my pen then. Flex, 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 no flex. Hmm. It's not worth the damage, is it? I'm gonna waste the pen then. I need to start doing damage to him, basically. True get here just to remove. Uh, I guess I will do the tool damage. Gets me closer to Pendib. Okay, there's a flex. I will Thunderclap. I guess this is my best defense, honestly. I really couldn't do much there. And he's intangible. Really? That's not good. It's because of the burns our deck is really diluted. It's really and I and I have a true good on top of everything in the deck. And he keeps adding burns, so that's really bad. I need to use the true good here. I will use the thunderclap, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna die probably here. I can't kill it now, can I? What can these power potions do? Yeah, I can. What am I talking about? I have enough strength. Oh my. Magic flower, okay. Second heavy blade is too much. A barricade though. Honestly, I'm considering it. 
Yeah, in this deck I'm considering a barricade. Imagine that. It's because I have a Reaper and I can set up a barricade. I do have the energy for it, sort of. I mean, I have two power potions, I might randomly get a barricade. Now yeah, go for the three question marks. Or Calcum, sure. It's helpful. I could lose 10 HP. What am I talking about? I'm not losing the 10 HP. Impatience, really? No. Okay, it's a merchant. I can buy a dex potion, okay. And a strength potion is probably... Is it more useful than a power potion? Should have probably considered buying the blind. Mm, is it is the strength potion more useful? Yeah, it probably is. And here we are resting. I just wanted to see, but yeah, we're resting. Upgrading a single defend here is not gonna have a big impact. Dex potion, come on, dex potion, dex potion, dex yeah. Oh wait a minute. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, this is a pen nib. I should kill the front too. Because later on, I'm just going to be able to fully heal off the Awakened one. Uh, Reaper's just going to keep... Give me Flax? Nope. You didn't give me Flax, but you know what? That's fine. I will true get a single defense here. Even though that's probably a bad idea. At this point. Hey, enemies healing more than I am. Oh boy. What do I have next turn? A rage. Okay. I mean, I'm sacrificing HP for damage at this point. Okay, the enemy's dead. Yeah, I don't need to thunderclap. I will rage though. Now we play the power potions. I don't need demon form, do I? No, I don't. I'm, I'm gonna get a barricade just in case. I'm worried, honestly. And in flame. I am worried that it'll just do an insane amount of damage. Yep, this turn. I can heal for 17. And defend for 5. 7, sorry. Alright, oh, magic flower. Okay, I'm gonna survive this hit. <laughs> that's it. Surviving, that's it. Okay, so rage, flex, limit break. And I'm playing all three of these. I'm sorry, Bash, you gotta go. I'm still dead, ain't I? That's, no, that's. Uh, yeah, I'm dead. Oh well. We tried. Okay. Ugh, I hate dying to the final boss. At least when you die early enough, you're like, eh, you know what, I didn't waste my time. And like 15 minutes and you're like, oh, I tried my best. Even Darringy gods were smiling upon me and I still died. Ugh, it happens though. It happens. And that's why I like Slay the Spire. It's because it is a challenge, especially on higher ascension levels. And it's actually going to get more and more challenging after this. Uh, it will be fun though. It'll be fun. Anyway, my name has been Rampant Mystic. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Slate Aspire and I do hope to see you all in the next one.